Here we go. Snap, snap, snap. Oh, you can see how floppy it is. Yes! There we go. It snapped in half. Beam NG's Gambler 500 Challenge has inspired some pretty crazy mods. And this is the Behemoth by Awesome Carl Plays. It's an eight-wheel drive Legrand. Look at this thing. I There's so much to talk about here. Everywhere you look, there's something crazy and weird and stupid, but it's awesome. I love it. Where to begin with this thing? Well, it's a Legrand, but at the back, it actually has a trailer attached to it to create one uniquely weird chassis. So it's eight wheels. Well, actually, 14 wheels because we've got Julie wheels at the back here and eight wheel drive. We've got dual snorkels for going through water. We've got these exhausts with an American flag coming out. That's pretty cool. We've got um, bull horns. We got oh, it doesn't actually have horns, but yeah, bull horns. Um, we've got this massive uh, grill at the front, which is pretty good for protection. What else? We've got a flushing toilet. Have you ever seen this in a mod? A flushing toilet. Sort of. I mean, it's more like an uh, exploding toilet, but there you go. That, yeah. We've got a convertible roof, sort of. You actually just have to kind of drag it backwards and forwards. But I've never seen this before on a mod, so that's kind of cool. We've got a weird sort of convertible roof there. And look at this rear wing. If you have a look in the rear here, we've got a hammock. We've got a mini fridge with our bean beer in there. And a, is that not... Oh, a fire extinguisher and nitrous. Good. We're going to need that fire extinguisher. But yeah, that table is going to go pretty wild. And there's a bench at the back too. But we are in a really cool map. This is called Gambler Hills by Biftro. This map is pretty small. In fact, it's really small. But it's very, very detailed and it's the first map that's themed around the Gambler 500 Beam and G Challenge. Okay, so driving the behemoth. Now this is a mod by Awesome Carl Plays and as you can see we've got the, um, I guess the trademark of Awesome Carl Plays, his sunglasses, whoa, emoji ball in here. Wow, this thing does not turn well. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, can we go? Yes. The eight wheel drive will push us anywhere yay come on go 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 wow okay this is pretty difficult okay oh can we get over there yes nice whoa oh my goodness what we're gonna flip yeah getting through that no straight down the hill turning circle does need some work i'm not entirely sure we're gonna get around here oh my goodness yeah we've got a steep hill coming up so let's engage the nitrous and see if we can get up here we go yeah go 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 oh she is a beast well she's a behemoth i suppose uh-oh. Can we get around here, though? Yeah, the turning circle does need some work. Oh, dear. Look at it from back here. Look at that wing. Oh, my goodness. But with the nitrous on, it does actually have a pretty good turn of speed. Unfortunately, this map isn't really big enough to test it, so we need to go somewhere a bit different. Whoa! To really push this thing. There goes the toilet. No, my toilet. Yeah, we need to go to a different map to test this thing out. But first, let's try one of the missions that's included with the map. Oh, the back half has fallen off. Yeah, it's just welded together, so not very strong, really. Okay, so we're going to do this challenge called Survival. Oh, my goodness. It doesn't say anything about it. What's it going to be like? Okay, this is kind of a problem. The car is slightly too long for the spawn area. Anyway, deliver the mattresses to, to the... What? What mattresses? Uh, okay, never mind. Let's just do it. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Yes, we got out of those boxes. Right, 10 checkpoints. Oh, it's crazy driving from this position. Whoa, 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 whoa. Straight through there. Yes. It is actually pretty strong. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Break, 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 break. Oh, dear. Maybe the handbrake would be useful. Do all the... Yeah, all the rear wheels lock up with the handbrake. That's great. Okay. Nitrous is on. Six. Seven. Whoa. That rear wing probably isn't doing too much here. Oh, over there. Yes. How fast are we going to do it in about 35 seconds? Not too bad. So the question now is how fast can this thing go? Well, for a top speed challenge, we're going to have to put the nitrous on and I think we're going to close up the roof. So let's stop and close up the roof. That, I mean, that is really cool, isn't it? It's not quite a old MX-5 convertible roof, but it's still pretty cool. And look, covers it completely. Oh, it's a bit sloped to the back there. Oh dear, whoa! Okay, here we go. Right, um, we're in drive. Yeah, there's no sport mode for this thing, obviously. And we are doing 70. Whoa, 80. Oh, we're in the hammock. Onboard hammock mode, yeah. Whoa, there's a sign. Oh dear, oh dear. Dear, wow, we've crumpled up completely. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, here we go again. Uh, oh, wow, I've just noticed all the badges at the back here. Battlehawk, Redtail, Supercharged, Legrand.de. 
all-wheel drive TTF2. It's got all the badges from all the different BMG vehicles. Whoa! On this thing. And look at the running boards down here. What the heck? Well, this is almost certainly the fastest eight-wheel drive vehicle that BMG has ever had. Can we flush the toilet as we're going? It's quite difficult. Look at the roof! What's happening to the roof? It's flapping about. That's some pretty cool physics on the cloth there. Yeah, so a top speed of about 100, which really isn't that bad. And the handling at high speed is not good. I'll just steer. Oh, oh dear. Rear, rear, rear drive shaft broken. So we can still move, but I guess the rearmost wheels are now not working. Uh, oh, and the fronts are, wow, they are bent. Oh my goodness. Once you get into the groove on the dirt, though, it actually feels pretty good. It's quite a solid vehicle. I mean, that rear is a little bit floppy. There are some floppier variants we're going to try out, but it handles okay. Just because it's very long and it understeers, it's quite difficult to get around the tight corners. But look, it can handle pretty much any, whoa, terrain. You can even do some crawling in this thing obviously perfect for the Gambler 500 challenge. So there are six different variants included with this mod. We've already had a look at the standard Behemoth. Now we're going to have a look at the Behemoth Mini. A Behemoth in sedan form and probably better. Now this is basically a Behemoth that hasn't been stretched. It's a more normal, if that's the right word to use, um, variant of the Behemoth. So does this thing drive any better? Let's find out. It's probably going to be a lot less floppy. Okay, well... Yep, it does feel a lot better. The off-road tyres are working pretty well. There aren't many, like, off... What? Oil starvation already? Oh, dear. Uh, that's a bit weird. But, yeah, there aren't many off-road variants of the Legrand. What is the gearbox doing? Yeah, it does have this weird automatic. What the... I'm, my foot is flat to the floor, and it doesn't know what to do. And we're going off the cliff. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Somehow... And oh, it does have low range, though. Low and high. But you can't disengage the four-wheel drive, which is... You know, pretty cool, but sometimes it is useful for doing drifting, things like that. Oh yeah, it's a fairly good rally car, apart from that gearbox, come on! Stay in a nice gear for me! Oh, I'm off-road! But yeah, this thing can go anywhere, whoa! And it's got better ground clearance, it doesn't have such a long body, and there's barely any understeer. So, whoa, 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 so it's much better at going around sharp bends. So then there's this, the Legod Awful, a front-wheel drive, four-cylinder, bendy mistake. So basically, this does not have the reinforced chassis, just sort of, I don't know, a weird frame, and then like, are they Gavril Roma? body parts there? I think they are. Uh, They've just been kind of welded together and there's only four wheels. Oh dear. And it's front wheel drive as well. So, yep, it's a manual. We do have nitrous though. Oh yeah. Nitrous hasn't engaged yet. So it's going to be bendy because that chassis has no structural integrity at all. Oh, over torque risk. Uh, yeah, the four cylinder can't really handle it. I do love the swinging uh, emoji balls, so they're pretty cool. Okay, let's go around here. Handbrake. Yeah, look at it. Oh my goodness. Okay, go, go, go. Down the airfield. There's a big jump at the end. Let's see if the car will snap in half when we hit it. Here we go. There's 30. And there you go. It seems to engage at about 40, the nitrous. That's good. Fip. Oh, the engine is blown up. Oh dear. Well, that didn't last very long. Let's try it without the nitrous this time. So let's make sure I've turned it off. There we go. Okay, so it's much slower now. But, oh, come on. I want to do a jump at the end and get this thing to snap in half. That would be really cool. I love the beer and the seat in here. They didn't have to put these little details in, but it's so cool. Here we go. Snap, snap, snap. Oh, you can see how floppy it is. Yes! It snapped in half. Oh, my goodness. Come on, come on. Keep going. Fuel tank ruptured. It does actually have dual fuel tanks in this thing. Come on, snap. Oh, here's a big jump here. And yeah, all the parts are like salvaged from a scrapyard. Yes! There we go. It snapped in half. Wow, and... The rear is following us down the hill. Ah, oh, reunited at last. Next up, the budget behemoth. A crappy old Legrand wagon with its roof cut off, rear split off, and extended with a trailer frame. Unfortunately, an 8x8 drivetrain didn't fit in the budget. So it's pretty much the same as the last one, but we do actually have eight wheels, but no eight wheel drive. So we've got a automatic gearbox, and actually the interior is much nicer in here. I like this uh, beige interior, beige leather interior. We've got these lights. Can we turn them on? Like that? Yeah, you look at those lights. Powerful. Okay. Let's find a road. Let's go down here. Underneath the bridge. So how does this thing handle? Well, oh, the turning circle again. Oh, dear. I mean, I'm used to driving a car with a pretty poor turning circle in real life, but this really just take the biscuit for turning circle. The only thing worse I think we've done in terms of turning circle is that flipping RV, that Breaking Bad RV. Whoa, through the water. Are we floating? 
Yeah, we've got the snorkel, so that's okay. We've got the snorkel, which does actually work in this game. The snorkels do work. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm, I forgot. We are a automatic gearbox. Right. Uh, quite good force feedback through this, actually. The tyres are pretty good off-road, but they also have quite a lot of feeling, which is good. Okay, let's get around here, and I'm going to try my handbrake test again. Handbrake? Yeah, it's gr Oh! Uh-oh. Are we able to get back up? Yeah, but it's great that the handbrake actually affects... Look at that dust! Actually affects the um, all of the rear wheels, which gives you more handbrake turning performance. Next up is the Coolio Racing. This joins the Gambler 500 with six wheel drive, 450 horsepower, three spoilers, and a golden throne. I think that means a golden toilet, yes. You know, there was actually a real golden toilet and it got stolen. Um, but I don't know why anyone will a golden toilet, but yeah, I love that they've made it explode. And I think it actually has a shower above it. That is really weird. Anyway, this thing should be a little better to drive. Whoa, yes it is. Okay, we've got a rev... Whoa, rev counter up here which says when to change gear. Over torque risk, that's not a good sign. I think the nitrous will kill it. Now, does it handle any better? Um... Turning circle, again, isn't very good, and wow, look at that yellow paint job. I also noticed at the front here, we've got these quite mean-looking headlights, thanks to these, I don't know, this little bit of sticky tape that makes it look mean and aggressive. Anyway, here we go, go. Yeah, the engine will probably blow up, but we have got like a 3.5 litre V6, I think. Here we go, handbrake. Oh, yes. No! Oh, I can't even drift this thing. Oh, reverse. Oh, it's quite fast in reverse. Yeah! The rear wing will not be doing anything. Oh, don't, well, definitely won't be doing anything now. Um, can we turn around? Uh, that's not looking good. Uh, what? We've just become a normal four-wheel drive Legrand. That is really funny. Oh, it's quite hard to drive now. I think I've bent the suspension. Whoa! Oh my, look at this thing! I love the frame at the back. Oh, the beer's about to fall out. No! My beer! Where's my beer? It hasn't fallen out, has it? Oh, thank goodness for that. Golden Throne, let's go for a top speed run. Let's do it. Whoa, what are we doing? 120 miles per hour in a six-wheel drive race car. Oh, dear, that's a signpost again. Wow, crashing this thing is crazy because it just explodes into, like, so many different parts. And what are these things flapping around? Wow, into the tunnel. And we're going to take it pretty quickly in about, I think, I think we're doing about 70 or 80. Yeah, it handles okay. It definitely handles the best so far. And the turning circle is better at this kind of speed. Go, third gear. Come on. I'm worried about the engine exploding, though. Let's get those lights on. Here we go. 130. We've got five gears. Yep, and it's still accelerating. 130. The engine has held up. That's nearly 140. I think this must go about 150. Oh, dear. The rear has sort of become separated. Middle drive shaft, rear drive shaft broken. We've actually run out of nitrous, but we're making it out of the tunnel. Can we do a spectacular crash? Yes, we can! Whoa! Into the river. Oh, perfect. Yeah, cartwheeling and everything. So we've got one final variant. It's the drag behemoth. We do a little bit of weight reduction. 312 horsepower by the looks, and it's very, very light. How is it very light? Well, it hasn't got the extended frame, and it's just sort of got this overhang bit. I guess this is to stop the thing, like, flipping up, and this, it kind of rides on this when it's doing full acceleration as a drag car. Anyway, we've got the nitrous in here. Let's turn it on. Uh, we're going to extend the roof all the way to the back, because why not? There we go. Oh, I love that. That's such a cool feature. Um, okay, let's get that other thing to chase us and see if it's any faster. Go, 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 go. He's hit us. Oh, dear. But we're off. Right, is it any faster? Um, it kind of is. It's definitely a good drag car. Yeah, we're outpacing it quite a lot. Here we go. There's 120. 125. Oh, it's really hard to handle. We've got the golden toilet again. Whoa! We're gonna go up the side of this mountain. 150. Whoa! Oh, we made it up. Wow, I've never made it up there before. Where's the other guy? What's he doing? Oh, he's doing that. And look, we're gonna come and join him. Just flopping off there. Bang. Pile up. Oh, look at that on the bonnet. It's like a little T Rex. Oh, that's cute. Can we have a quick look at the engine? Is it going to be any different? I don't think it is, but um, worth having a look. Will it even open? Oh, they've made, managed to make it open right around there. That is really cool. And this sort of snorkel pipe as well. That's been pretty nicely modelled. Oh, yeah, look at that. Standard engine, but I love the way 
it opens, not hitting any of the extras that have been added. So then, as a finale, I think we should drive the behemoth off this bridge. You've probably seen this bridge in all sorts of BeamNG shorts and stuff like that, but um, I think it'd be really cool to drive this thing off there. Let's close up the roof. There you go, so to finish, let's get this thing on the road, put nitrous on. What an awesome mod, and of course, this mod will be available from the link in the description, as well as that map mod I tried earlier. Wow, that turning circle is really bad. So go and check them out, go and support the mod creators, and I can't wait to see what the results of the Gambler 500 modding contest are. This really is one crazy mod, but if you'd like to see another BeamNG mod on the Gambler 500 series, why not click the video on screen right now? I test out a drivable shed. It is awesome, and I think you'll enjoy the video. But now, let's say goodbye to the behemoth by driving it off the bridge. Here we go. Whoa, hit the other side. Oh, split in half. Are we on fire? No, but we are very much destroyed.